We're marking four months today since an unusual storm swept through San Diego, putting entire neighborhoods underwater. It's also been a four month fight among residents, the city, FEMA, and landlords to get people the help that they need. And Fox 5's Alani Latang checked in with the people affected in Southcrest. It's going to need edging along the, see how this is rounded here, so the edging's got to go there. I'm beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel now. Greg Montoya has lived in this Southcrest home on Beta Street for 30 years, but he's now rebuilding with the help of flood insurance after the January 22nd storms left his home gutted out. It's been very stressful for me because of the fact that uh, I've used a lot of my sick vacation time at work. You know, after work, rush here to get material and keep keep moving. The January 22nd storms flooded the Choyas Creek behind his home. Quickly after, all the homes on Beta Street were under five, even six feet of water. It was traumatizing to all the residents, and it's going to be uh, a trauma that's going to last for years. There's the holes that I opened up the floors. It's depressing. It's just depressing. It's just shocking, you know. Going through this whole thing. Richard Corpus lives a few houses down from Greg. His home is down to the studs with approximately $150,000 in damages. But Richard says without flood insurance, the future of his home is uncertain. Thank God that we had, we had, we had some volunteers go in there and and tear out some of the walls and stuff, which, which, which was good because I don't have money really to repair the house. I mean, just, I've been just trying to survive. You know, with the little money that I have, just trying to survive. And the reason the flood happened was because they ignore this area. They don't give the resources that are needed, even though they've received numerous reports about the storm system being inadequate. Greg and Richard have been living in hotels for the past four months. They and more than 300 people are a part of a $100 million lawsuit against the city of San Diego. The suit alleges the city failed to maintain and increase funding for stormwater infrastructure, but neighbors want the city to act now ahead of the next rain. My main concerns is that the city, you know, will kind of forget about us and, and not continue to, to do the maintenance that they're, they're supposed to do to keep this area clean. Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.